I wanted to actually share the devotional that I read that day and it is from the book Jesus Our Perfect Hope and that is by Charles Stanley. The message is titled Allowing the Storms. The verse that goes with this devotion is Isaiah 54 11. Oh my afflicted people, tempest, tossed, and troubled, I will rebuild you on a foundation. Uh, the devotion goes, though Jesus could stop the storm, oftentimes he doesn't. Isn't that the issue that makes us all struggle? If he is God and he is good and he is, then why would he allow all the difficult things we have to face? Why does life have to be such a struggle? With the disciples, we understand Jesus was building their faith. He led them into squall after squall, not to dishearten them, but to make their hearts stronger. He did so because he knew what was ahead for them, that they would suffer for his name, and he needed to tear down all of their strongholds of self-reliance so that they could be established on a much more enduring foundation of his power and wisdom. Don't imagine his reason for you is so different. God has kingdom purposes he will fulfill through you as well, and he's equipping you with everything you need for success. That means enduring some storms, but be not afraid, he will get you through them. And he is building eternal qualities in you that you'll be glad you have. Father, thank you that you have worthy purposes in mind for allowing the tempest. I will trust you. Amen. I really wanted to share this devotion because I felt like it was so powerful. I feel like a lot of us, not just me, um, do we try to escape the storms instead of allowing them because obviously they're uncomfortable. But just like this message said, God has great purposes for you and he has to build those eternal qualities and that can only be built through tough times. So if you're going through a tough time or you just feel like you're just encountering storm after storm know that everything has to go through God first and if he's allowing it it's because it's there to build something for you and to build that foundation so I hope that you guys enjoyed that message because I know it hit home for me and I absolutely loved it there they go the other one the other one oh 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 Welcome back to another vlog. Today I woke up and I had just a protein shake because I just couldn't be bothered to make anything. And today is Tylan's birthday, so I'm gonna go to the store and I told him for his birthday, he doesn't have to do anything, he can just chillax. So it's gonna be me and little man's all day today. We're doing a dinner for him on Sunday, so we're gonna be doing a cake and everything then. So I was just gonna do a small little cake today. Yeah, so I'm gonna head to the store. Ready, one, two, put that foot in here. <laughs> Can we step back and show them? Let's step back and show them our outfit. Come on. Hey, look at my outfit. Look at my outfit. We're gonna go run some errands. Show them. Oh. He's too cool right now to show y'all. Y'all, change of plans. Crew is not rolling with me. He ended up falling back asleep. I kind of had a feeling that was gonna happen because he did wake up earlier than um than his usual wake time right now because he's been going to bed super late but that's okay Tylen told me even on his yes day today that he'll he'll just take him because he's asleep and I don't want to like take him out in the cold and all that and I'm just gonna run I think to Stater Brothers and Target I was gonna make that pasta but Tylen said he wants steak burritos so he also said I could just make the pasta as well because he'll take that to work so I'm gonna be making two dishes but it's okay because I have the ingredients most of the ingredients for the pasta
it is raining I don't do the rain so we got everything at Cedar Brothers and there was a few other things I wanted to get at Target but I just can't be bothered to go to another store also I want to be back before crew wakes up So I didn't end up talking through any of this, but this is the Alfredo pasta with the Jamaican jerk seasoning. Shrimp and chicken is in there. And then I put some bell peppers, as you guys seen. Um, pretty much use bell peppers through most of these. And then that's the Mexican rice. That is the steak for the steak burritos. And then I made my chicken and rice that I make all the time, but I just added in some steak as well. Uh, so I ended up making three meals out of this, which was even better. Alrighty, y'all. So I'm all done cooking. I did the Jamaican jerk pasta with the shrimp and chicken with bell peppers. I showed you guys already the rice and um, the steak. That's gonna go with the burritos. I have the beans in a pot with a lid on it. I'm gonna heat those up whenever we do decide to eat it. And I also just made my chicken and rice that I make all the time, but I just added some steak in there. Okay, y'all, it is 7 o'clock, and I just now got myself together. I don't want to edit this vlog and be looking at myself the entire time like, girl, you look a mess, because I looked crazy all day. But I have to take some pre-workout, even though it's 7 o'clock. I really shouldn't. I'm so tired that cooking literally took me out. Yeah, sometimes this is the reality, is working out, like, staying near close to my bedtime but for me honestly it's so important for me to stay consistent right now just for like my mental I just did a full scoop I literally just put a full scoop in there I don't now I'm gonna be pouring some creatine but it is what it is okay we're probably gonna be wired but a little water in here just a little bit cause it's like like a little shot and then y'all coconut water is the superior workout drink let me know in the comments below if you like or hate coconut water so sour oh, I don't know maybe because I'm half asleep I'm so tired like I don't get it like I got a good amount of sleep last night I feel being a mom I'm gonna always say like it's the hardest job you just don't get no downtime and you don't realize how much like output you're putting out I guess sometimes because you I, I enjoy it like I love my kids so you just I don't see it as work all the time but then like by the end of the day I'm like why am I so exhausted like what did I do today I'm like oh yeah fought to change a bunch of diapers held a baby on my side all day like it's a lot all right you guys so first up on the menu we are gonna be doing barbell squats so I actually wanted to talk to you guys through this workout because I haven't done that in a minute and I feel like I feel like no matter how long I've been training I always still need to be reminded of little things I'm gonna try to go for four sets of ten for me I'm choosing form over weight right now and I want to really protect my knees so I'm not really going up until I feel like my 
form is perfected. This is a long, long marathon. It's not a quick race, okay? So we wanna save our knees. We wanna make sure everything's intact. We're not hurting our back. The main tip with the barbell squat for me personally, because I don't have such a big range of motion, I'm not as flexible as others, I just try to make sure that I am going down, straight, straight down, coming straight back up. So I'm in alignment the entire time. I'm not leaning forward or trying to lean back and also keeping my core as tight as possible. It's why it's so important to not move up in your weight until you have perfected your form because there is so many things you need to think about when doing a compound lift such as barbell squats. squats in a minute and focusing on the form slowing down and just controlling everything my breathing making sure that I'm reminding myself almost every rep to tighten my core as tight as possible really paid off but moving on we're gonna be doing B stamps B stamps B stance hip thrusts I use these literally every single time I do hip thrusts and I like to do abductors with these and just overall like burnouts are amazing with bands especially these fabric ones because they're super like durable and just really strong resistance so I'll put that link down below no pressure just reminding y'all because like I do still have some in stock and as far as B stands if you don't know what that is it's basically where you're just using one leg um, and the other one instead of like doing a single leg where you'll be having the other one like up in the air you're kind of just resting on this one but all your weight and everything you're gonna be pushing is gonna be only with one leg so this foot is just for stability right here. I'm gonna aim for four sets of probably 10 to 12 with a five second hold at the end. And make sure that you are bracing that core and that you're focusing on pushing through whichever leg you're working at the moment and trying not to put much pressure or like weight on the other leg. <laughs> This one, y'all, is so fire, but so exhausting. So we are going to be doing three sets of reverse lunges, but I have two plates under me, as you can see. So it is going to be 
a little bit of a step up. Now we're gonna go back, do a reverse lunge. You're gonna lean slightly forward because we're trying to target our hamstrings and glutes. So I'm gonna be leaning a little bit forward, not dropping my chest, just leaning a little bit forward. And I'm gonna come straight down and then I'm gonna come up one, two, three. On the third one, that's when I'm gonna actually step up and that's gonna complete one rep. So we're gonna aim for eight of those. Technically, it's a lot more than eight because we're doing the pulses with it. So back, one, two, three, up. One, one, two, three, up. That makes two. So I'm only doing three sets of these. I promise you're gonna be dead. I promise that's gonna be more than enough. Adding in those pulses just gives me a little extra time to really feel the movement and feel the exercise and also get that like right contact with my glutes. So that's why I love the pulse. I just naturally did it one day while doing these reverse lunges and I felt like it helped me immensely to feel that connection in my glutes. So if you're struggling with like feeling the connection in your glutes with lunges, Try adding in a pulse or just simply giving yourself a little bit more time. But I feel like with lunges, if you do like try to go and just hold it, you kind of focus more on your balance and then you end up not really being able to focus on the movement as much. So that's why I said try it out. It's reverse pulse step up lunge. I don't even know the correct term for it, but let's get started. <laughs> y'all <laughs> yeah about those eight reps <laughs> I completely overestimated so if you need six reps matter of fact I might take my weight down and go for five because the amount oh, you guys got to try these you have to try this this exercise may be my new favorite exercise of all time like I'm gonna be aiming for five six I'm gonna keep my weight do two more sets of these but I don't know what I was thinking putting these in and barbell squats and I haven't done barbell squats in a minute um because my energy is not <laughs> up here um but these feel amazing and the amount of contact I feel like in my glutes y'all have to try it So tired in a good way. I'm so happy I did this workout. So 
We did the barbell squat and we did the hip thrust. Those were both four sets. And then I just did three sets of the Bulgarian reverse post lunges that were step up reverse. That's a long exercise name, but those ones wiped me out. So I'm going to finish with the leg press. And what I had to do after this, if I got through everything, which I told you guys I overestimated, um, or underestimated this workout, I should say. I had just hamstring uh, curls with the with the yoga ball for like a burnout, but I'm telling y'all now, I'm barely making it through this, so we're gonna end with the leg press. No matter if you're trying to aim for your hamstring or you're aiming for your like quads, you just wanna make sure that you aren't locking your knee out every time. I tend to not even like come close to locking out. I'll stop way before then. Um, and it's honestly harder too because you're keeping that time under tension. You're not really getting like a full break. Um, but if you do extend all the way, make sure that you're just doing it really slow and you're not like slamming your legs, you know what I mean? But anyways, I'm just rambling now. As much as I love this workout, I want it to be over. I'm over it now. I want to shower. I want to get in bed. So let's get through this. Yeah.